Look how poorly this residue is spread. Not even at all. Here there's nothing. Nothing again. And then right beside it, look how thick that is. And then nothing beside it again. This is how I like to leave the residue. Absolutely even. This will make them come out and have to harrow. By harrowing it, you get rid of your mat. If you get rid of your mat, you have no way of suppressing weeds in the spring, which means you need a pre-seed burden down. You have no mat, you have no way of retaining moisture and preventing evaporation. And because we're always trying to build our mat, we actually have our knives pulled back some so we can get bigger pieces so we can start to make that mat. Then when we come through and seed, we're out seeding some fall cover crop, just some clover we're putting in after winter wheat. Show you how we seed through heavy residue. So you can see some of that's from last year yet. This is this year's. We don't chop it very tight. We try and just spread it because we're trying to build that mulch. Then when we seed, we're pushing it away from here so we get a open spot for the seed to come up. But you can see in the middle is just absolutely loaded with residue. That really suppresses the weeds and helps hold in the moisture. That'll push out of the way. You'll get a bare spot for your seed to come up and you'll get a thick mat in between holding in moisture and suppressing weeds. No harrows needed, we're done here.